Just a quick one guys before we get into today's video, we have released our July drop, we have the Liverpool Originals t-shirts, along with the We've Conquered All of Europe t-shirts. Do browse the new collection by going down into the link in the description or going to copyclothing.com. Anyway, let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, we're so close to 45,000 subscribers, so if you haven't already hit the big red button, please consider doing so, and in return we'll keep on the straight and narrow of everything with regards to Liverpool Football Club this summer. Guys, finally, we got some more movement and it looks like signing number three is on the way, and potentially another signing as well. Well, yes, Fabrizio Romano has dropped some nuggets of information along with Paul Joyce as well, of which we're going to be going through in today's video in depth. Um, so, of course, if you unless you've been living under a rock over the last sort of couple of weeks, you'll understand that Liverpool are interested in Romeo Lavia. Around a week ago, the club did submit a bid for the Belgian midfielder, however, was instantly rejected by Southampton as it didn't meet their valuation. However, we do have an update from Paul Joyce and Fabrizio Romano stating that Liverpool have set another bid in for the player and it is going to be closer to Southampton's £50 million valuation. It's said to be around £45 million uh, with sort of add-ons and all the rest of it and Liverpool are confident that this deal will be accepted. Um, Sasha Tavolari has also said, as far as I know, there's no need to worry for Romeo Lavia to Liverpool. Reds were busy to close the Fabinho deal today and every part involved were waiting for this deal to be done before a new movement after yesterday's morning verbal bid of around £45 million, in, including bonuses. Things are taking time, but there is a confidence as from Liverpool than at the Southampton that a deal will be done imminently. So as I said, the latest news today... Fabrizio Romano and Paul Joyce have all said that Liverpool are set or have submitted a second bid of £45 million pounds plus add-ons and that the club are confident this will get uh, the Romeo Lavia deal over the line. It pretty much looks like it will be done. As I said many videos ago, Romeo Lavia has been in contact or his entourage has been in contact with Jurgen Klopp over the last sort of couple of weeks. Personal terms have never been a problem and as I said, it does look like he will be joining Liverpool Football Club imminently as the club have submitted a second bid of £45 million plus bonuses fresh off today. Only half an hour ago, this was uh, released from Fabrizio Romano and Paul Joyce. So very, very exciting news indeed. Now, also, Paul Joyce went on to say that Klopp wants to sign a new defender. We've been talking about this in depth recently as well, but he has reinstated it that he does want a new defender after the first half of pre-season. Performances have shown that the club do want and Klopp wants a defender as a priority. So following the deal of Romeo Lavia, which should be completed by this time next week or over the next couple of days, then the clubs will uh, the club will focus their attention on signing a brand new centre back. I know we've spoke about this in depth, but it has been reaffirmed now from Paul Joyce and Fabrizio Romano that the club are going to be going in for a defender uh, next. As far as names go, I still don't know any names. As I say, um, there has been loads of names on the shortlist. However, concrete names, names that the club are actually in talks with, who knows? It will be a waiting game, but we should see it follow suit after this Romeo Lavia deal is concluded. Now... Fabrizio Romano also spoke of a defender being signed by the football club. However, as I said, I leave it till last because you guys, some reason, don't like to know about young players being signed or not everybody, but the bulk I always get into trouble in the comment section when I bring up about Liverpool making or spending big money on young players. I do find it very interesting because it's not too long in the near future where they will be involved with the team. So I like to see if Liverpool are going to be spending big amounts of money on young youth prospects and the next next hot thing, um, I like to bring it to you. So again, sorry for those that you're not interested, but as I said, this is from Fabrizio Romano, and it said that Liverpool are in official talks to sign young centre-back Amana Nalo, who was born in 2006 from West Ham United's academy. Um, so Liverpool, of course, making moves with regards to the academy. Also, we've seen a big shift with Liverpool in regards to sort of recruiting uh, youngsters. Uh, of course, with Ben Doak, he's been brilliant in pre-season. 
Ilicic, all these sorts of young players that you're starting to hear about now started as a nobody last year. Ben Doak was signed last summer. These are the sorts of names I'm bringing to you because within a year, they could be within the first team setup and the next best thing. Look at Ben Doak getting so much hype and rightfully so, but he was just a, oh, a 16-year-old a, a signing from Celtic last summer. Nobody cared, really, but look how much he's, how many strides he's taken towards the first team. And as I said, looking to be a key part, playing uh, playing against Leicester and scoring a goal. And a, a player I fully expect to break through going into this summer, but uh, going into this season, sorry. But Liverpool, as I said, from Bitsio Romano as well, Liverpool are in talks to sign a young centre-back, Amara Nalo, who was born in 2006 from West Ham United's Academy. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, with regards to our transfer news. Um, a few bits and pieces discussed. As I said, a, a young academy player or a young player about to be signed from West Ham United. Romeo Lavia, second bid has been submitted and the Liverpool are very, very confident in getting a deal over the line. And as I said, Paul Joyce stating that the club want a first team centre-back to go into the squad. Klopp has confirmed or Klopp has told Liverpool sources or Liverpool sources uh, have that information from inside the football club that they will go for a centre-back after this Romeo Lavia deal is concluded concluded. So yes, things are starting to move and there is a bit of time now, two weeks or so, two weeks yesterday or just less than two weeks between Liverpool starting the Premier League campaign against Chelsea um, in that first game back. Do expect this two weeks to be very, very busy with regards to sort of movement and transfer news. I'm hoping I can make two videos a day updating you with really, really cool information. That just goes to show that would be a good sign that we are making moves in this transfer window. But as I said, uh, yeah, as I said, things are going to be really speeding up over the next couple of weeks. But signing number three is imminent. That is Romeo Lavia. The club have submitted a second bid of £45 million and bonuses. Now, going on to a fan favourite. As I said, some people don't really like to discuss old names and stuff like that. But of course, Sadio Mane is a fan's favourite. The latest is it's been well documented his scenario at Bayern Munich over the last season. So, kind of surplus to requirements, had that sort of fallout with Sane and all the rest of it, busted his lip. Um, and basically, yeah, he looks like he will be going out to Saudi Arabia. That deal uh, pretty much is finalised. And he'll be linking up with Cristiano Ronaldo as he leaves Bayern Munich after just one year at the football club to join Al Nasser out in in Saudi Arabia. He's the latest big name, latest big star to be going out for the big money. Um, and I'm just wondering what his village in Senegal is going to look like after this one. But yeah, fantastic stuff there for him. And as I said, wish him all the best with regards to his next move. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I've really got for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Do let me know your thoughts on the imminent signing now of Romeo Lavia. Do let me know on all the other bits and pieces that we've discussed. And just give me your thoughts on um, Sadio Mane. What are your thoughts for him? What do you think went wrong at Bayern Munich? As I said, let me know down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Remember, we do have Liverpool t-shirts available on our website, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or going to copbikeclothing.com. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.